Hello, welcome to another reading vlog, but a different one, and it is Readathon. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so Readathon is my 24 hour readathon thing that I kind of started doing. This is the second one now, and I'm very excited. It is now midnight. So it has actually officially now started. I have just got up, like literally 10 minutes ago. I had a bit of a nap because I wanted to prepare by sleeping a little. But I'm kicking things off with Readathon with an hour reading sprint, so I should really get to reading right about now. But I just wanted to say hi, kick off the vlog. Um, I'm going to be staying awake for the full 24 hours, just like I did last time, so fingers crossed I manage that, because I feel more tired than I did this time in the last one. So we'll see how that goes, but I've got a lot of energy drinks, so I should be alright. My TBR for this is very last minute, I didn't really have one. Um, like lined up, I wasn't entirely sure, but I have decided that I am going to try and read Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian de Castell. This is the fourth and final book in the Great Coats series, um, and this is it. It's a, it's quite a chunker, so this is my TBR for the day. It's got tiny text, you know, it's probably going to take me a while to get through this. Um, and I know last time I read three books. I don't think I'll manage quite that quantity kicking off with this. But I'm going to start with this nonetheless. So I'm going to crack on with reading and fingers crossed this 24 hours can go well. <laughs> Very quick update. It's nearly 3am. I'm about to do a live on Instagram with Gavin. We're going to do a live reading sprint, so a bit of chatting, bit of reading. But I've just hit page 100 in Tyrant's Throne, so I am getting through it quicker than I thought three hours for 100 pages. I mean, this is only like 600 pages. I feel like I can definitely do this in those 24 hours. But like, considering how little through the book we are, like there's already been so many twists and turns and the politics is at play. Of course there have been a few deaths already. There's some dueling and some battling and some <sighs> not quite upholding of the law. <laughs> I love this series so much um, and I'm just having the best time. I'm so glad I decided to read it in the end because I was really debating whether this was the right pick for this because it was going to take so long but I just love it so much. I love Sebastian de Castell's writing, I love this series, I love these books, I love these characters Ugh, and I'm loving it. And Pris is reading Night's Shadow which is my favourite one in the series so far and like keeping me updated with her thoughts on that so like also seeing her love it is amazing. Oh, Alright but I'm going on Instagram live now so I will check back in with you in an hour or so. So it's just gone 4am, um, the live happened, we did some sprinting, I got some a little further into my book, but I've just been sitting there scrolling through Twitter to catch up with all of the notifications and realised how loud the birds are. I don't know if you can hear them. They're pretty loud out there, but it got a little bit windy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna nip to the loo, I think, um, and then read some more. Woohoo! Somehow, within the last half hour, it became daylight. But this night has gone so quick, it feels like proper morning now. Like, I'm totally awake and like ready for the day now, um, and it's 10 to 5 and like it feels like morning the sun well not quite the sun it's still kind of a bit gray out there but there is light hooray um and i am doing okay um page 162 in five hours that's actually 
bad, isn't it? I should crack on with reading some more. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Nearly 6am, watting out the snacks. Here come the party rings. About to go on live with Ashley. Have just passed over 200 pages in Tyrant's Throne. I think I'm at like 205? 208, I lied. Um, as I said, like, shit just constantly goes down. Like, it's not like shit's only starting to go down. Shit's already gone down. There's a lot of shit. Like, these books are just full of... Full of shit doesn't sound like a compliment, does it? But you know what I mean. Like, they are so packed with twists and turns and drama. So much drama. <laughs> but yeah, about to go on live with Ashley. Munch some party rings, read some more. But um, I've opened the window again. It's nice and sunny. The birds are still chirping away. It's a good morning. It's a good morning. <laughs> Hello, it's 9am now and I think it's definitely time to go and wash my face, brush my teeth, do something about that. I don't know if I'll wear makeup today, I might put some on later, I don't know. Um, but, reading update, I am now about halfway through Tyrant's Throne, um, so I'm definitely confident that I can finish this today. Um, I'm up to chapter 40, page 285. Um, I've just come off a live with Molly on Instagram, um, so I've done many lives throughout the night into the morning. Um, but I, I'm loving this so much. It's taken a bit of an unexpected turn in that they've kind of had to ally themselves with someone that you would not expect. Um, but everything about these books takes unexpected turns. Something has occurred that I don't know how they're going to resolve or yeah there's so much to be answered for um but you know I still have half of the book to go I'm really loving it as I always say about Sebastian de Castell I love his writing and being the fourth book in a series I already love these characters I love this world I love the politics and the intrigue and I love it I love it so much um so yeah, I'm going to go and brush my teeth and wash my face and read some more for a bit. I haven't got the next live lined up just yet, um, so I think I'm just going to do some Twitter sprints and read as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Hello, so it's like half one now. Um, I'm up to page 393, chapter 56. So much is going on and like I can't talk to you about any of it because spoilers. But it's intense, like really intense. And Pris has just sent me the reaction of her reading the worst thing I've ever read in Night Shadow and by the worst thing I ever read I mean it's like really traumatic thing that happens but it's like so well written and like you feel it it's so good but like awful do you know what I mean and like she's reacting I'm reacting I'm so excited to keep going but also I'm terrified because like this is the last book and I only have this much of it left now which is not that much but I'm I'm gonna keep going and um, hope everything's okay. <laughs> Hello, 
it's just gone 5 p.m. and I have like a tiny bit of my book left. I think it's like 70 pages I have left now, ish. Yeah, I've got about 70 pages left um, and I'm really looking forward to finishing that. However, right now, pizza, yum, yum. Cool. Doesn't that look delicious? Can't wait to gobble that up. Hello, it's half past seven. I've just finished Tyrant's Throne. I'm feeling very empty inside. <laughs> oh, so this was amazing. <laughs> I'm so sad that this is over, but like, it's not. Play of Shadows comes out in February. I don't know too much about the plot based on that one, but mm, I loved it. I've put it through a core pile. It'll be absolutely zero surprise to anyone that it got five star because it's incredible. I love these characters. I love Sebastian de Castell's writing. I love the action, the politics, the fact that it, it's so all over the place. Like there is something happening all the time. I am never bored with these books and it was the perfect book for me to read like in one go because oh, I loved it. I did that with um, Night Shadow as well though. I read that all in one day as well. I just find these books really, really compelling. It's definitely one of my favourite series but we know this and now I've finished it I can solidify it even more. I just love it so much. Ugh. So that's done. I really can't tell you much about this, which sucks because it's a fourth book and it's spoilers, but the first book is Traitor's Blade, which follows Falcio, Kest and Brasti, who are fallen greatcoats. The king has been murdered and the greatcoats have been disbanded. The greatcoats are like magistrates. They uphold the king's law to everyone, including the king. Um, they're not knights. They're supposed to be, you know lawful they're supposed to be lawful they uphold the law um but yeah the king was murdered and the great coats have fallen and then falcio kest and rasty um as a trio of fallen great coats kind of try to carry out their king's last wishes um and aim for a, yeah carrying out his last wishes to make the kingdom a better place but like nothing goes smoothly at all. There's so much going on here. You've got all of the different duchies and them all having, you know, completely differing political opinions. This series is brutal and heartbreaking and it can be very blunt and matter of fact, but it's also very sarcastic and witty and it can be quite humorous. That's what I love about Sebastian de Castell's writing style. It just meshes with me so well. But yeah, it can be brutal. There's some awful things that happen in these books, but it's so well written. So yeah, I love it a lot. And that, that was another book. Checked off. Um, as for what I'm going to read now, I'm going to read a comic. And I'm actually going to go for Skyward Volume 2. This is about um, a world where there is no gravity. Um, gravity was switched off one day and our main character has lived her entire life without gravity but her father has not and you kind of see the differences between what he believes, what she believes, what they want for the world, um, etc. But in the last one our main character gets mixed up in some stuff that she probably shouldn't. Um, so yeah. I'm looking forward to reading this and I'm going to chill out with this for a little bit. I think after this beast of a book, a little comic is just what I need. Um, so yeah, this probably won't take me very long to read either. So I'll undoubtedly be back with you soon, but I definitely want something quick. And I need another energy drink because I am really feeling it. <laughs>
it's just gone 9 p.m. Holy shit, do I look tired. I look really tired, but it's just gone 9 p.m. And I've just finished Skyward. So I read it in about an hour, so that worked out pretty well. This is Skyward Volume 2, Zero Gravity. Um, I didn't like this one as much as I liked the first one. Um, I think the first one it had kind of the shock of the world with no gravity and I really liked being introduced to that. Um, obviously in here we have Willow, our main character, continuing on from the events of the first book, or the first issue even, um, where she gets involved in some stuff that she shouldn't because she needs to save the world. Um, and there's development on here. They visit a different like area of the world that Willa hasn't been to before, which is a bit like a wilderness setting. And this issue is called, I think, Here Be Dragonflies. Here there be dragonflies. And in this one, in the forest, there are enormous bugs as like a side effect of the zero gravity. The bugs are enormous and the dragonflies eat people. Um, but they are huge and eat people. So, I mean, that was interesting. Bit creepy, but cool. Um, and I feel like there were just, like, the plot was way too quick in this. Like, new character introduced and we had, like, a whole thing with him really quickly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gave it three stars overall, put it through core pile. I think you got, like, six and sevens mainly across the board. Atmosphere scored the highest because I did like, I like the zero gravity world that it's set on. Um, and the, like, creepy forest atmosphere with the giant bugs is... A terrifying concept. Um, but yeah, I gave it three stars. Not much to say, but I did really like the first one, so I'm a bit disappointed, but I will continue with the series because um, I'm interested to see where it's going to go and what's going to happen next. Because as a result of what happened in this, like, I can't tell you because spoilers, but I will definitely be continuing the series. I just think the first one was stronger than this one. Cool. That does mean I have three hours left and I'm a little bit stuck for what to read because I want to read something that I can finish within those three hours and I'm debating Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire because it's tiny. Um, it is a whole book of course um, and it is just over 200 pages so I feel like I could do that but then also a part of me wants to read Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. I think this is a bit longer. Ah yes, this is 278 pages, so it's a bit longer, but it's a middle grade with like pictures and like even the text is quite big. Um, so I don't know, I can't pick. I asked for a little bit of advice for what I should do on Twitter because I want to read something within these last three hours. And people have come back with, oh, read one of the wayward children because they're small, or read a quick middle grade. <laughs> so people have come back with my two options. I don't know what to do. Oh, I need to make a choice and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> so I did a poll on Twitter because that's the answer to everything in life. Um, and did it between <laughs> um, Come Tumbling Down and Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Um, I only did like a five minute one. So let's see. Come Tumbling Down is currently winning at 59%, but there's still two minutes left on it. Um, I might just assume it's going to win and start this one. It's sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to call it. This is winning, so I'm going to start reading it right now. <laughs> Literally just finished. I just hit midnight. That's not midnight. And just finished the book. That was really tight timing. Um, but I did it. Hooray! Um, obviously I haven't put it through core power yet because I've literally just finished it at midnight. 
But that does mean that I've read three things today. One of those being a chunky fantasy book, one comic and one much smaller book. I'm really pleased with the quantity that I have read today. Um, I know earlier in the day I said a lot about how I felt like I should have read more pages for the hours I was reading, but Tyrant's Throne was very intense. Um, without putting this through core pile, I'm feeling a low three star, potentially two and a half, mm, three. Yeah, a low three star, I think. I don't like this series as much as I used to. I love the first book, and I think it's because the first book took me by surprise so much. Um, and the second one was alright, and then I just have kind of fallen out of love with it. Um, I don't care as much about it anymore. I suppose they are quick, fun reads, and they're good for what they are. But in the first ones, I felt like I got to know these characters so well in so little pages and I thought Shauna Maguire was great for how she could develop such an in-depth character in so few pages. And that's what I liked. Oh, my time has just gone off. <laughs> um, that's what I liked and I don't get that anymore. Mm. Um, but I will give Shauna McGuire credit for her beautiful writing because her writing is very beautiful, it's very atmospheric. I will give it that. Um, but like the intrigue wasn't there, I wasn't really into the plot. So the plot of this one, it follows Jack and Jill again. So Jack and Jill are in books one and two. Um, Jack and Jill have swapped bodies, Jill is now like evil. Um, and the plot of this is helping Jack get her body back um, because Jack suffers with OCD and cannot stand being in someone else's skin. Like the rep for like, there's all sorts of rep in here, all sorts, um, but the OCD one is quite strong in this um, and it is about getting Jack out of the skin that she's not comfortable in. Um, and we're back in the Moors, which is Jack and Jill's um, portal world. Um, and characters from the school kind of go on this like quest to help her find Jill to put right the fact that they're in the wrong bodies. But I won't say too much more than that because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but I just wasn't as into the plot, unfortunately. So um, I'm going to run this through core pile top up my stats for the day and then we will do a little raid-a-thon wrap-up because it's past midnight and it's officially over so I will check back in with you very shortly. Right I have put all my stats into my core pile spreadsheet um, it's now quarter past midnight so it didn't take me long and I've done a bit of twittering to just bring it to an end but um, Come Tumbling Down did score a three star overall it was a six, um, that is actually, like, that's a decent, yeah, decent three stars. So it scored higher than I thought it would. I think atmosphere and writing really brought it up, um, because they were fantastic. Um, it was just the plot and the intrigue that let it down for me. But I've, I've explained my thoughts. But yeah, the stats back that up and it got a decent three star, so can't complain. So to recap, we started my day and spent most of my day with Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian de Castell, which got a five star and I've gushed about enough. Beautiful thing. <laughs> um, then I read Skyward Volume 2 by Joe Henderson. Yes, Joe Henderson. Um, and that came out at a three star. Um, and that got a 6.14, which is a decent three star. Um, and then three star for Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire, which got a six overall. So, not bad ratings. Last time I did this, I had three books that were three stars. So, two books that were three stars, and then this chunker that got five. So, quality this time, amped up. Page count 
amped down. I think last time my page count was like over a thousand. In fact I can tell you what it was because it was these books up here. Yeah, last time my page count was 1096. This time my page count is 896. Still the 96. Weird. So 200 pages less this time. Um, but this took me a lot of time to get through and I did say during the vlog like it felt like I was dedicating a lot of hours to it but not getting through the page numbers because denser adult fantasy lots going on lots to take in makes sense makes sense my stats definitely reflect my day but you know 896 pages in a day is still fantastic I'm really really happy with that I'm happy to have managed three reads again. It was kind of what I wanted. Although at the beginning of this vlog I said like, if I just read this, fine. Because that also would have just been fine. Conquering this in a day, fine. But like my ideal was if I can read three things because that's what I did last time. <laughs> like I felt like I had to live up to the last one. Um, so in a way we have, in a way we haven't. But these, these were my reads. And you know what? I think this has been a success. I've had fun. Just get some thumbnail shots. <laughs> I've had fun, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I am so incredibly tired. <laughs> uh, it was definitely a struggle towards the evening. Um, I got a little bit of a second wind, but not really. I'm very excited to go to bed. Um, I do also, as I did last time, just want to say thank you to everyone who participated, everyone participating on Twitter, all the people that tuned into all the Instagram lives that I was doing throughout the day. Thank you. I mean, I do this for me, but it's great that you join in and can have fun with it as well. Um, I've got so many Twitter notifications that I need to go through. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to stop babbling. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you participated in Raidathon, then I hope you had a fun time with that. I hope you had lots of success. Um, I will probably do a round three at some point, but I have no idea when. So um, I'll let you know if slash when that happens. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed and fancy doing that that'll be real nice too um but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>